Hey everybody, Ryan here from Cold Harbor Supply, and today we're going to look at the Mark III Enhanced Focusing Defender for your P Falcon 640, 640V2, RH25, or RH25V2. This is the third version of this series of protector, and we added some enhancements, including the new and improved O-ring retention method, and also a throw lever, which is why this is part of the Enhanced Focusing Series. So let's get into the installation of this Defender. So the only tool you're going to need is going to be a small flathead or a small Allen key. Now this isn't necessary, but it is recommended, so that way if you need to pry the O-rings out, you can do it with this guy. Before we get started, we want to make sure that all your surfaces and everything like that on your thermal imager are clean. Use some compressed air, blow any dust out of the objective lens and then with a microfiber cloth after the dust is blown out you can gently go there and get any residue off of the lens so just make sure that's clean and we're going to set this off for now and we're going to prep the defender so if you watched any previous videos of mine where we install any of our new series defenders this one is going to be the same thing you're going to have three versions you're going to have a version with titanium with germanium and a version with both. So we're gonna go over the installation for all three versions. Feel free to skip ahead or pause anywhere you would like so that way you can get to the instructions that are the correct one for the one you have. First off, let's start with the titanium version of this Defender. So for this one, you're not gonna get their germanium with this and you're not gonna need these two thinner TPU O-rings. You're only going to need this larger TPU O-ring and the titanium mesh as well as the Defender housing itself. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your defender housing, you're going to drop the titanium mesh into it, and it should sit on the outside like so. And then you take this double layered O-ring, and as you can see, it's kind of a stepped O-ring. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that the flange for the O-ring, the smaller flange, sits facing the device, and then this thinner flange sits facing the titanium. So if you look in here, you're going to notice there's two channels that larger flange is going to sit in the outermost channel over here. So all we're gonna do is take this and it's gonna be a tight fit and you're gonna squeeze it in and it bends of course, this whole thing is made of TPU so it's nice and flexible. And you're gonna squeeze it in there and make sure that it indexes onto that outer channel. If it squishes, that's okay. And then as you can see, it's indexing right there and you can take your finger and you can just kind of press it in all the way it should look like this once it's completed. The titanium is in there really solid. And now we can proceed to put this on to our thermal device. Now we're going to go into the installation of the germanium only version of this Defender. So for the germanium only version of this protector, it's going to be similar to the titanium install. You're going to need the Defender housing. Your piece of germanium, you will get a new piece if you buy a piece from us. This one is just a used one for demonstration purposes. And the two steps o-ring you're not going to need the thinner o-rings much like the titanium defender so for this double stepped o-ring you're going to use it in the opposite direction the smaller flange so the one that has a lower diameter is going to sit against the germanium like so and then the larger flange is going to go into the outer ring of the defender so if you see right there there's one ring down there and there's this outer ring the double stepped o-ring is going to sit in that second ring so for the germanium, because it does scratch relatively easily, I do recommend using that little piece of tissue paper. It will come wrapped in out of the box. But in this case, I'm just going to use my hands and just be careful. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your germanium. You're going to drop it in there. It will go down all the way like so. And then you're going to take your TP O-ring. You're going to take it and you're going to make the smaller side sit down like this. And then just like the titanium one, you're going to squeeze it in there. So it sits inside and indexes on that ring. Because these things are made of TPU, you can bend them and they will retain their shape no problem. Once you have your germanium fully installed, the ring will sit inside like this. You can take your finger and carefully without touching the germanium, you can kind of press the O-ring in like so, and it should be nice and secure. This one is a gouge in it because again, it's a demo unit that took a sim round. And then you can proceed to install this on to your P Falcon or RH25. So if you get the version of the Defender that uses both sacrificial lenses, you're gonna install it in this order. Defender housing first, titanium, you're gonna use one of these thinner O-rings, so not the two-step one that we showed earlier. Then your germanium, and then the final O-ring in this nice kind of Defender sandwich. So you're gonna take your housing, you're going to put the titanium in first, then you're gonna put this O-ring in 
this channel down here. Again, because this is TPU, you can flex it and bend it so that it fits better. Of course, take your time with this. After your first layer is done, it should look like this with your thinner O-ring sitting in the first channel over there against your titanium. And you can take your fingers in and press that O-ring in. Next, you're gonna take your germanium and you're going to put it into the next layer of that kind of sandwich. If you guys get germanium, it will be new. This is just a demo and the one that we're using, so that's why it's a little bit scratched up. And I do recommend using either gloves or that tissue paper it comes with to avoid any scratching or fingerprints on it. Once that's done, you're gonna take the final piece, which is your O-ring, and you're gonna basically repeat that same step that we did with the titanium layer. All right. So once it's installed, it'll look something like this. If there's a bit of smudging in there, just blow off any debris, take a microfiber cloth, wipe off any smudging in there. And here will be the front of it. Of course, you guys will get a new piece of germanium without that little impact dent in it. Now we're ready to proceed to the final step, which is installing this guy onto your P Falcon or RH25. If for whatever reason you need to replace your lenses, like in the case of this one where it has a little gouge in it, we've designed this with a small relief hole in the side that you can take a small tool, such as a tiny Allen key, or in this case, I'm using a small flathead, and stick it in there and use it to kind of pry the O-rings out. It just makes your job a lot easier for any lens replacements that you might need to do in the future. So your P-Falcon or RH25, like I said, you want to make sure all the front surfaces are clean and you also want to make sure that the battery cap is off and the battery is out to prevent any axles and activations. And this does have a unique method of installation. The P-Falcon series of thermals actually has a pretty wide range of focus, but not all of it is usable. And we designed this Defender specifically to use that usable focus range. So the first thing you're going to do to install this properly is you're going to unscrew the focus all the way out and it's going to stop you're going to hit a limit where it can't unscrew anymore and then you're going to take your defender and you're going to put it on top it's going to be a really tight fit and you're going to put it in this exact orientation where you have the throw lever horizontal and on top of the battery cap then what you're going to do is you're going to twist this counter clockwise until it's about 90 degrees or so you're actually going to feel it index in there and then what you're going to do after this is you're going to screw it all the way tight, like so. And there will be a little bit of overhang over the battery cap, but it's indexed in there, so it'll actually focus the device. But what you're gonna notice when you use it is kind of this range of focus over here where it touches the battery cap is actually not useful, and neither is this range over here where it goes over it. So the real usable focusable range with this Defender on is actually this area, like so, which is pretty optimal for a little throw lever like that. Once that's done, you can stick your battery back in and close off your device. And there you guys have it. So here is the usable, focusable range of your P Falcon or RH25. This works with both the V1 and the V2. And the focusing throw lever does not get in the way of the screws or the battery cap. Super, super useful whether you use this weapon mounted or on your head. As a bonus, you don't actually have to remove the cover like with our V1 protector. And like with our V2 protector, the V3 protector can also be used to cap your thermal device. So you have a totally encased package that is protected from impacts, side impacts of the lens, is focusable, and retains your day cap usage. So there you guys go. That's going to be the Mark III Enhanced Focusing P-Falcon Defender from Cold Harbor Supply. And thanks for watching, everybody.